Hey everybody, it's James from American Drifter, and today I wanted to talk about a very special piece of gear to me, and that is the Vertex Transit Sling Bag. I've been using this bag for a couple years now, and it has quickly become one of my favorite pieces of gear. I take it with me everywhere. So now that I've been using it for some time, I wanted to take this opportunity and share this bag review with you. Maybe it would be a good option for you and your everyday carry. So without further ado, let's get to it. Here is the Vertex Transit Sling. This is version one. Since I purchased this bag, there's been a second version that was released and that goes for around $150. This is a 16 liter capacity bag made out of Cordura fabric. As always, let's start at the top of the bag and work our way down. So at the top here, you have this carry handle on the front and a carry handle on the top, as well as a carry handle on the side here. Uh, and. Uh, Here's the shoulder strap, and it's a cool rotating strap, but it also acts as a buckle. So you just push that, and in the event of an emergency, you want to get the bag off quickly, you could just do that, and the, and the strap comes right off. It features a padded, vented material for the back pad and the shoulder strap, and a piece of molly webbing that has loops that go down the strap, and you know you could attach car keys to this if you'd, if you'd like. And then lower on the bag, you know, you got the, the logo there as well as a secondary buckle for quick release if you needed to use it. You have it in two spots. And this pad down here is custom. I think it's a seatbelt pad I ordered on Amazon a year or so ago and it just gives a little bit more comfort, you know, to this naked strap. And the bag does come with a, a side strap as well. You can see the the uh, buckles down here and it would it would go into this buckle on the shoulder strap i've taken that off because honestly i just never used it and this pad has an opening that goes all the way through the back for the front of the bag it has a velcro strap here and the first compartment is secured by two zippers up top and this handle kind of helps conceal that as well but in the event that you did want to get to it fast, you simply secure the top of the bag, grab this tab, and pull it open. And here you can see it conceals a patch of molly webbing that has Velcro on it. And then it also, on the flap, has these straps, you know, with these little hooks, and there's loops on either side of the bag. If you did want to unravel these, and you know, stick a helmet back here or something, and the cool thing about this bag, I didn't find out until a month or so after I had it, is there is a concealed pocket here. And the concealed pocket is at the base. It's secured by Velcro, you just open that up, and you have a whole nother pocket back here. Now for the main compartment. It has this clamshell design, so it doesn't open all the way. So it's just that clamshell. And you've got this nice, soft hook and loop material here on both sides of the bag. So you can add, you know, pouches, additional pouches on either side of this if you'd like to. You've got these organizational slots on the back here, as well as a zippered pocket with a key lanyard and clip. All right, and now for this side of the bag, it's got this strap that runs across the back with a buckle. And that's so that you can secure a laptop or a tablet back here. Uh, or if you want to throw a piece of body armor in here, you could do that. And then you have also got this back pocket here that holds the back plate and frame of the bag. So here you can see that I've put in some custom uh, hook and loop panels with VanQuest pouches in order to you know, help keep this side organized. I'll have some medical supplies in here in my wallet and keys and such in this one. Now the part that most of you have been waiting for, the concealed carry compartment. So again, it's concealed by YKK zippers. And one of them has this really generous 
handle on it. I don't know what else to call it. It's just an easy grab handle. And this thing is super convenient. I mean, you can find it without even looking for it. It's just that spacious and you can just find it and grab it. And once you find it, you know, the zipper just opens with no issue. I cycle through three handguns in this bag. Uh, you know, anything from a small single stack concealable weapon to, you know, a full size Glock 34. And uh, I've got no issues walking around with this bag, no issues with opening or closing. It, it doesn't, you know, hit the weapon at all. I have a uh, holster in here that's from VanQuest and it has Velcro on one side and it has this adjustable flap uh, so you can you know, make it tighter or make it a little bit more loose if you're carrying a larger firearm. But as I've shown you, you know, I've got uh, you know, a very large handgun in here with, with no problems carrying it. Just to show you, these zippers go all the way down and you can completely open this concealed carry compartment and it features that same soft hook and loop material on both sides of the bag, as well as a uh, zippered you know, sleeve at the bottom here in the event that you didn't want to have some additional items hidden back there. All right, everybody, you knew this was coming. Let's talk about pros and cons. For the pros, I appreciate the fact that it has a two buckle release system on the strap in the event that you did want to you know, take the bag off quickly, you have two buckles to do that with. The second pro is it's arguably the fastest bag to draw from with practice. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube of people at the range drawing from this bag and some of the videos are quite impressive. I'll probably link one down in the description. The third pro for me is the fact that it has just the right amount of interior organization just for my everyday needs. This is not a bug out bag. You know, this is not a bag that you're going to keep 72 hours of food in. It's a bag just for your daily essentials. The fourth pro for me would be the versatility of this bag and the ability to add Kevlar or a plate to the internals of this bag if you wanted to. Uh, the idea behind that is if you were in a survival situation, you could front load this bag and wear it across your chest in the event that you know, you're getting shot at, at least that way you'd have kind of some makeshift body armor. All right, and now for the cons of the bag. For me, there's really only one, and that's the fact that the bag overall, it, it's not really low vis. I mean, it's not tactical, but it's not low vis either. And in my opinion, if they got rid of this Velcro strap on the back, I think that would really help. Whatever bag you decide to go with, make sure you train constantly with it. And obviously, make sure the firearm is unloaded and it's safe before doing so. Now that we've checked out the external and the internal parts of this bag, I'd like to hear from you. Did you like this bag or not? Or is there an alternative bag that you use? Please let me know in the comments. Until next time, stay safe out there.